Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be working on this. It's a really dark bit of Koopapedi. You can see that it's been bashed around quite a bit if you look at the how the light is reflecting off the surface. There's chips all over the face. Very unfortunate and the sides are kind of covered up pretty well. But it's a really dark body tone. It's got some great blue greens just rolling across the entire surface. The edge does say that there's a little bit of a sand spot over here, which we'll have to cut back a bit. There's not a lot of the warmer colours around some of the edges. There's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of gold there. But all in all, we're hoping to end up with a nice blue-green, dark stone. It looks like I might end up getting the stencil out and putting it into a bit of a teardrop. And in terms of size, it's probably it'll probably make a reasonable ringstone. So quite a large ringstone. But we'll have to see how it goes. First, I'm going to get the Sintered Diamond and knock off the sharp edges. We know what those kind of sharp edges are going to do to our Nova Points, and it's not good. It's just going to shred them. So, just got to knock off those edges and, yeah, switch over to the Novas. Shine it up. Most likely go with the Polishing Paste and take this one all the way to a nice, shiny finish gem. So, let's get straight into it.
Well, there you have it. We've gone through, it's taken a really good polish. Now, in terms of shape, I was gonna put it into a, well, get the stencils out and calibrate it into a perfect kind of teardrop shape. But I don't know if it's just me, whenever I've got a stone that's got kind of an uneven surface, I actually prefer to just keep it as a bit of a freeform shape. So I've done this little bit of a lopsided kind of teardrop instead. And I'm hoping to try to set this into some sort of small ring, but I do know that it's incredibly difficult to set when your setting edge is so uneven. But I do want to try and experiment because I think you could make some very cool custom jewelry with such a piece. Now the stone itself is beautiful. It's got a pin fire kind of green blue pattern on one side, then this broad flash on the other. It's uh, quite unusual. There's a small patch of gold that hides just underneath it all, but I didn't want to carve all the way down to it. You can see a little bit of it flashing through there. Just because the stone is already quite thin in some spots because of how bashed out the face was. But look at that, it took a really nice polish and got a really good finish on it. Thanks to the Novas and the Blacklighter Secret Polish. Which I still haven't worked out what it is, but it works so I don't question it. And yeah, beautiful, beautiful blue green. The back I've still left fully crusty so it's got the full crust on it. That'll just get flattened out, but I'm actually thinking of saving that for a video where I talk about finishing off the backs of stones and a few options that you've got for doing it. So that might come up in the future and you might see this stone again. But for now, that's it. Done. Beautiful. See, there's that other flash of gold up in that top corner. Very small stone. Might actually give it a quick weigh. I haven't been weighing a lot of stones that I've been cutting in the last little while. So even though the back's not finished, yeah, by the time the back's done, we're looking at a one carat. One carat stone. Could make a beautiful ring. Too small for a pendant. Either way, I think it'll look quite good. So yeah, that's the end of that stone. Time to move on to the next one. I might do another bit of Ethiopian. I want to try out this one. So this is a different type of material. It's called a... Um, water opal so apparently this one has to stay in water so i cut it with the aid of water and then i've got to put it back in here which is a little bit sad i prefer to have my opal like this sitting out but that might be why this kind of material ain't that great for jewelry making but i don't know i'm gonna play with it and see how it goes it's got some beautiful color in it and if it is just a specimen piece that just sits in a jar I'll just take off a little bit of the crust to fully expose it and yeah could look pretty cool this one I think I might be able to carve into an eye because it's got that big dark pupil like patch in it so fun times fun times ahead stay tuned and I'll get cracking straight on the next one <laughs> 